Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Today could be a crazy day inside of FIFA 22 because of more rumored content that is expected to drop soon, but today is a day where people are expecting it the most. We could be seeing, as rumored earlier this week, a flashback Mbappe SBC. It could be today. Again, I'm not a huge fan of leaks. I don't like the rumors that spread all the time. We even have people that were panic selling yesterday and continually are panic selling and making market movements because of Rule Breakers Team 2 cards that have been leaked and tossed around people saying that they know what cards are going to be in to this promo. So again, we're going to talk a lot about leaks today because I can't cover this stuff on the market and not talk about these things that are going on because there are things moving on this market. There are player prices moving. People are investing. Players are being sold because of these leaks that are being thrown around on Twitter, on Reddit, on social media. People are talking about this stuff and it impacts the market. So I feel obligated to bring that information to you so that we can talk about it and so that you can know why some cards are moving on the market the way that they are. So again, I want to talk about today's potential content and also how we could be seeing some of this stuff on Friday and impacting into Friday with Rule Breakers team number two. If we would get an Mbappe SBC, what would that do to this game? We already saw Conte dropped last week and I believe Conte expires today. If I'm not wrong, if Conte is not expired already, I believe he expires today on Thursday. Yes, he expires today on Thursday. So some people are saying this Angola Conte is going to go away and a brand new Mbappe flashback is gonna come in. In my opinion, that seems too fast, too quick in succession for huge flashback SBCs like that. But let's talk about it because we also have rewards today. We're gonna to have marquee matchups. So a lot of you guys asking about rule breakers, we've seen their prices drop. A lot of stuff dropped on the market yesterday because of the, honestly, just panic. And we'll talk about that as well. But let's get into it, right? This Mr. Mbappe flashback card, this is a design a concept card created by Sahil. I'll leave the link to this image down in the description. Absolute goat of a designer. But this is the sort of Mbappe that we would be looking to see today if the SBC drops, right? It would be an Mbappe that would be lower rated potentially and worse statistically than the actual uh, Mbappe card that we have in this game, right? What we see a lot of times with these elite tier flashbacks, again, last year in FIFA 21 was the first one we ever saw with Cristiano Ronaldo. This year with Conte, those would be, in my opinion, the top two flashbacks that we have ever seen in this game. But the Cristiano Ronaldo SBC was obviously cheaper than his gold card on the market. Now, Mbappe on this game is still around 1.6, 1.7 million coins. So if they were to drop some sort of flashback, I presume that it might be left wing. It'd be striker or left wing, kind of a flashback to his Monaco days when he was a true youngster. I mean, he's still only 22 years old. But it would probably have a significant amount less of pace, of, you know, shooting. Basically, all around of the lower in statistics uh, and in in-game stats. He might even have four-star, four-star instead of five-star, four-star. But this type of SBC would be a lot cheaper than Mbappe's gold card as well. Probably somewhere around the range of like 700K to a mil, which a lot of people would be able to do with untradeables for a lot less than that. And that would make, that would be an SBC that so many people would go after. Now, this is the main leak, right? SBCs that we expect over rule breakers. We talked about this leak from Foot Zone earlier in uh, this week on FIFA. He said that the Kudus SBC is coming as two. We have not seen that yet, but he has called Dante. He called uh, the Conte SBC as well. And now he's talking about this Mbappe. So again, there's a lot of reason to be not worried for an Mbappe SBC today, but I just want to prepare you guys as to what's going to happen on the market. If an Mbappe SBC were to come, we already had a little bit of a look into how the market would react to an SBC like this last week with Conte's SBC coming a week ago on Thursday, right? What happened last week when Conte came out? So many people went out and did that SBC right away. A lot of cards just dipped, right? A lot of your midfielders, icon midfielders dropped big time. Uh, yesterday, or sorry, not yesterday, last week on this game, I think of cards like Makalele, icon midfielders, especially the French ones. These guys, if you look at their graphs, they've taken a significant nosedive in price over the past few, after over the past week, right? Icons have been dropping, but a lot of the midfield ones take a, took a big hit when that Conte uh, was released. And you also saw Conte's gold card take a huge hit in price. He was like 480,000 coins before his SBC came out. And I believe right now he's like 385K 
on this game because a lot of people went out and did that flashback SBC of this item since it was cheaper, um, you know, last week before all the fodder started to rise up. So again, what would be hurt today if an Mbappe were, were to drop, right? Obviously, an Mbappe card would be hurt a lot. Like Mbappe's gold card would probably drop at least, I would imagine it would drop at least 100K, maybe 200K. 150,000 coins. I mean, I would expect to see this Mbappe in the one fives for sure, even though it would be undoubtedly better than the flashback card. This card would still be a little bit more expensive, still a lot more expensive, uh, but it would drop in price. And I do think that you would see panic across the whole entire market, especially on left wings. Now we saw panic on left wings yesterday because of a big team of the week card that was dropped with the Vinicius Jr. second in form, and they gave him a massive, massive boost. This Neymar, actually, if you take a look at this graph, I want to show you guys Neymar's graphs because this Vinicius card, it's got the kids all hyped, as we like to say in the Twitch streams. Got the kids all hyped. This Vinicius card does. Take a look at how uh, Neymar reacted yesterday. He was 820,000 coins Wednesday morning. Dropped down to 770, right around content. Vinicius is released. He jumped back to 800, but he's back down to 770 again, right? And this happened across the market yesterday on a lot of cards on the upper tier. And I'm just saying that if a... Mbappe SBC was released. This would be the type of card that so many people would want to go after because of how overpowered Mbappe is in this game. Even if this doesn't come out today or tomorrow or in the next week, this is a this is good useful information because whenever an Mbappe drops, people are going to drop literally everything to go after this card, right? It would almost make sense and it would be kind of a play on how hype this Vinicius is. If they were to drop an Mbappe SBC that was about 700, 800K, this card would absolutely get destroyed. If it was a left wing Mbappe, right? A left wing Mbappe would drop a lot of left wing cards, a bit extra, maybe some of your icons, especially some of your higher tier left wings like this Vinny, like a Hyunmin Sun special card. You even see a lot of panic selling on the Yunmin Sun cards. I bought this at 419,000 coins. He went back to 440. Now he's down to 410 and mine actually sold. So that was a GG. But this Sonodo card is down a lot. He is down a lot right now. And, you know, I think that these cards would drop more and they would drop further if an Mbappe were to come. So I think if an Mbappe comes, you would see a lot of cards, a lot of cards on this game get panic sold across the game and it would drop a lot of prices. The cards that you would see bounce back would probably be... PSG links. If Mbappe is a striker, you might see this Neymar bounce back a little bit. French and PSG links would be the things that you would see bounce back. Probably guys like Abedi Pelé, right? Players that have a lot of coins would go out and buy that sort of card to link him in. Players that don't have as many coins, maybe uh, you go and do the Verratti SBC. Maybe you go and buy somebody and you put it, um, uh, a little bit of like a, I don't know how you would link that card together exactly, but PSG links. We've had a Wijnaldum SBC. We've now had a Verratti SBC. Of course, you've got all of your de your defenders, you've got Kimpembe, you've got Marquinhos. There's a lot of PSG cards in this game that you can link um, with an item like that if it were to come out. So that is the interesting part about that. Is, of course, Messi, right? Messi on being on PSG as well. There's just so many PSG links this year. That's one of the most popular teams that people are linking together. Hakimi, if, if the card is a central card, you know, center mid to a right back link. So everybody would go out and do an Mbappe though, right? Everybody would go out and do it. Um, or they would try to craft it over the time that it is out. So I don't want to spend too much more time talking about an SBC that could grace the market, but I do want to cover just, again, like we just did, covering the stuff that could happen if an Mbappe were to be released. And it would be an incredible, an incredible coin sink for an Mbappe SBC. Like, it would be a perfect way for EA to drain some big coins before... Uh, a new promo on Friday, and they would get a lot of people to probably spend some FIBA points on Friday. Rule Breakers Team 2 coming out, which also, there's a few leaks going around around that, which I want to talk about next because that's already impacting the market, right? There is a couple cards that are rumored to be in Rule Breakers Team number 2. You're already seeing links to those cards rise up in price. Take a look at Teo Hernandez Inform. This guy was like 170, 180,000 coins yesterday on this game and he is up over 200,000 coins now because of the leak of those cards being in this game. I want to show you a bit of a graphic that was put together uh, by Foot Mentor. I'll leave the link to this graphic down below in the description as well. Klosterman, Foden, Alfonso Davies, Cornet, Kappa, Bamba, and Kessie. These are all names of cards that are supposed to be in Rule Breakers Team 2. They're already leaked players. Um, now, we'll see if these come true or not, right? This is really, really early for leaks, but you saw it 
you saw it affecting the market yesterday on Wednesday, specifically on some other rule breaker cards, right? Take a look at Diaby. Diaby on Wednesday morning was just dropping in price because people saw the leaks of the uh, Bomba card. And this Diaby went from 86,000 coins all the way down to 66K, where he has obviously gotten packed uh, from the supply SBC that we had. But also you saw Phil Foden was in that team. Phil Foden's inform dropped off a bunch. He was like 65,000 coins to start the day on Wednesday. Uh, as you can see here, 65,000 coins. And he dropped down to 56K in that panic selling. And then you saw the opposite effect as well. As I mentioned, a big card like if Kessie is in this team or even with Klosterman, Klosterman is affecting some cards on the market like the Mukiele. Uh, take a look at what this Teo Hernandez did today. Watch this. No leaks, no leaks. Boom, up to 214,000 coins. And this even started on Tuesday. As you can see, it was down in the 190s, started to rise up. So you're seeing these links to these cards that are supposed to get in and also cards that would be replaced like uh, Kappa, right? The right back from La Liga. There's only one right back in La Liga right now and you saw a panic selling on him on the morning yesterday and Wednesday. This Navas was 94K. He went down to 78,000 coins purely just off that panic sell because of this leak, right? So there was so much panic selling yesterday and Wednesday. The market of course dropped further into the day with the pack supply SBC that we had, which was a very interesting one, it was very cheap to do, uh, but and a lot of people went out and did it. So we had pack supply yesterday, and that has dropped the market. And now we're at a really interesting place heading into Thursday, uh, where SBC fodder has dropped off a little bit because it's been supplied. Rule breakers have dropped off a little bit, but there's people that are already starting to invest in these rule breaker cards, specifically Trent Alexander Arnold. We talked about in yesterday's video that probably. You know, this was going to be one of our first windows to look at investing in these cards. Now, this Trent card was down at 190,000 coins earlier uh, in the day today. Now, a lot of these rule breakers did drop off in price, but I'm already starting to see a few of them get bought back up, uh, specifically this Trent, because I really honestly think that people are buying these cards for the out of packs investment and they're buying these cards for the link investment to upcoming players that are getting specials like a player the month salah people are you know um buying up or looking to probably buy up this casemiro today because of the links to the new team of the week cards that we have released and have shown in team of the week seven this week so you know rule breakers for me today are very interesting it's going to be you're probably going to see some rule breakers that rise after rewards. The only thing that I have to say about rewards and rivals rewards is so many people like panic for it. And you see these cards drop down before rivals rewards and people sell their cards every single week on Wednesdays headed into the rewards time frame for, for Thursday and rivals. And rivals rewards are really not that good. They're really not that good. A lot of people take untradeable anyway and they get the coins. And that's why you see the market rise on Thursdays is because you see people getting the coins along with those division rivals rewards, going out and upgrading some teams. But if those rumors of Rule Breakers Team 2, of an Mbappe flashback SBC are floating around, your market rise today is probably going to be just in a few specific places, and you might see some more panic selling uh, depending on how, how far out those rumors sit and how those rumors are, I guess, sinking into the community. And, you know, I'm not going to be scared. I'm going to be trying to flip some cards post rewards today. I do think that some of these uh, rule breakers will go up in price because they did drop off really, really big amounts. Like this Onyeka is down in the mid 60K range. I think you're going to see people start to buy some of these guys at rewards. Now, Onyeka is actually up a little bit at the moment. But I do think that you will see people start to invest in these cards as we get towards rewards. Um, and so if, if there's cards that you think are getting too low during that time frame, by, by all means, you're probably gonna be able to have an opportunity to trade with those cards today. Gold cards as people are, of course, linking uh, their new cards together if they're trying anybody new from the team of the week, which of course does have a pretty couple, a nice couple cards in here. Carrasco, Vinicius, Marquinhos, Tavernier are getting featured team week. This, uh, in, in my opinion, this Tavernier is the best featured team of the week card that we have had this year. Him and Reese James, two English right back options in this team of the week, which make me like the Trent Alexander-Arnold investment a little bit less, if I'm being completely honest. Um, and I think if you're investing in this Trent card, you're, in, you're investing for the player of the month Salah links that will be coming out soon. Um, and of course, that he has 90 pace and the Liverpool Prem links. But if you can, if you compare this Trent Alexander-Arnold to the brand new Tavernier, I mean, 
in my opinion, they are close, if not almost the exact same card with Tavernier having more physical, the same amount of pace, better shooting, about the same passing, just a little bit worse dribbling and just worse links. So if you can fit Tavernier in your team, I like that card way better than the Trent card. But that's just my opinion. I'm kind of staying away from Trent. I know a lot of people are getting involved in him though. So you'll probably see some movements on his card today on this market. But just watch out for panic selling elsewhere, right? Uh, I think, again, the Salah player of the month is getting this this Salah, the, the 91 rated People were selling this one earlier tonight. He was down to 716,000 coins. He's bounced back to 750 on rarity. But I think people are starting to sell this guy off as well uh, because they're expecting that player of the month to come soon. So things that we are actually expecting to see on Thursday on this game. Number one, marquee matchups, right? Marquee matchups, I am expecting to see that today on this game. Of course, the Varadi SBC yesterday was just confusing. Uh, really, really good links. Uh, another reason why I don't expect Mbappe to come today would be why would they drop two PSG SBCs two days in a row? I don't know, but I guess they could. I really wish they would have boosted the pace on Verratti instead of the physical, right? 88 physical on this card looks very, very interesting, but with the acceleration and the sprint speed combination that we have on this guy, I just think that, you know, this is a really nice SBC for the Lynx. Um, but I don't think he's that good of a card, right? I really don't think he's that good of a card unless you hear differently, unless people say with the shadow chem style, he's cracked. Uh, it just, to me, to me, that's just not a really good SBC. And of course, a lot of people on Footbin agree with that if you look at the upvotes and downvotes. So um, I, I do think today we will see, of course, a brand new set of marquee matchups and a loading screen, right? I do expect to see a loading screen today on Thursday as a part of the the content right that is something that we often see on thursdays as we head into our promo friday is a loading screen so i would expect to see something along those lines previewing some of the players that we will see uh tomorrow on friday as a part of rule breakers team two which is expected to be dropping on friday uh and yeah for the market today there's probably going to be some more panic selling if i'm you i'm looking into quick flips right i'm looking into quick flips like the Salah I was looking into here, I never was able to get one at that 710 range. If I was able to get one down at like 710,000 coins, I would buy that because I really feel like even now he's bounced back to six, 750. Um, I feel like there'd be an opportunity to flip that card again, which looks like I might have missed out on. But just keep an eye out for panic selling today. And uh, if there is no Mbappe SBC and there's a lot of panic selling heading into 6 p.m. time frame, that could be an absolutely incredible time to maybe pick up on some of these cards that you've seen drop in price so much, even if it's like a gold messy. Like you saw, we looked at the, the Neymar graph, right? And Neymar bounced back up after their um, after yesterday's content of the Vinicius Jr. So if you see a lot of prices dropping, heading into the content drop today, you know, if it's an out of packs card that is very hyped, could be an investment opportunity. Icons are still good to trade with on Thursdays. The thing that you have that's a little bit good about Thursdays is you have an opportunity to trade because people are buying cards, right? They get coins from division rivals uh, and they go out and they try cards. They buy cards for their team. They play their foot champs qualifying games. So if you're on the market today and you just don't know what to do, chemistry style trade with a lot of cards, whether it's new cards from the team of the week, right? I mean, we look at like Tavernier. This is the type of trading that works really, really good on uh, Thursdays because it's a mixture of people buying cards and selling cards at the same time. Tavernier right now is 22, 23. He's about 24,000 coins. Flippin must show an undercut for him, but 24,000 coins for Tav. How much does he sell for it with a shadow? This is the type of trading that I'd be doing. I know it's an oldie but goodie method, um, but it works. It especially works on these Thursdays as we've talked about in the past because people are going out and they're trying cards. So I would 100% be looking into this sort of trading method today. Uh, not just with Tavernier, Reese James, Carrasco, um, Correa, those types of cards. Or, you know, you look at some of your uh, rule breakers as well. Trading with the rule breakers with position change and chemistry styles could be a great way to make some coins today on the market as well. But it's going to be an interesting day nonetheless. It was a very interesting day with the road to the knockouts as well. You can tell that a lot of people were looking to invest in these cards. I'll end this video quickly by talking about this. I had some Renan Lodi's yesterday. Renan Lodi's price dropped off even before Liverpool started playing against Atletico uh, yesterday. Atletico ended up losing, but you could just see that the effect of investors on this market. People went out and you could, you could, you could easily read it, right? After they lost, or even as they were losing inside of the game, Atletico versus Liverpool, you could see that people were going out and investing 
in these live cards because yes, Ren and Lodi links very nicely to Carrasco and to Vinicius who are both in the team of the week uh, this week. Uh, but of course, you saw there's so many people investing in those cards, which is, a, you know, I don't like messing around with cards like that, that I have seen a visual rise on the market in purely because of investing, right? Same thing with this Mookie LA. He was down at 61,000 coins. Then, of course, the Klosterman uh, kind of leaks are coming out and he has gone back up to about 69,000 coins. A lot of people investing. I understand why, but I'm, those people or most of them are investing off of leaks and I'm not a huge fan of that. So, a lot of movements with Road to the Knockouts. Of course, all of the knockout games, there's still more happening today, but all of the Champions League games that are done and over with, there's no more Champions League from now until like November 23rd or November 22nd. So it's a long wait for these cards. Now I'm kind of watching Marquinhos at the moment, 750. He's dropped off big time because um, they drew against Leipzig. It was a 2-2 game, but this card is incredibly rare. And if I see him go any much lower than 750, Maybe I'll snag this one on bid. I think there's a huge opportunity here to make a flip into the morning on a very rare card, even though he does have a brand new inform uh, on the game. So that's kind of what's going on with the market right now. A lot of craziness. We will see, of course, what happens today when the content drops. Number one thing to expect, marquee matchups, loading screen, and then I guess you wait for the rumors to see if the rumors are true. But it's going to be a very interesting day. We'll be covering it all live on the Twitch stream. Link down below. That's the video for today, boys. If you did enjoy it, smash a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nathan Foot Account, and I will catch you guys later. Peace out. <laughs>